If you're using a laptop, a touchpad is your absolute go-to for any pointing activities that you need to do on your computer. But what to do if it's not working in the first place? My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about how to fix non-functional trackpads on Windows 11. Fixing a non-functional touchpad on Windows 11 is actually quite easy. The first thing that we're going to do is to check uh, to see if the touchpad is actually enabled in software. To do that, press Windows key plus I to open settings. Uh, head over to Bluetooth and devices. And in here, scroll down and click on touchpad. Now, uh, you will have this slider here. If the slider is disabled, that means your touchpad is off in software. So enable this slider and once you click it, you'll also see another setting that says leave touchpad on when a mouse is connected. Make sure that this uh, box is checked because otherwise your touchpad will be disabled as soon as you connect an external mouse. A lot of laptops and keyboards also have a physical touchpad disable key. I'll put mine on the screen uh, right now so that you can take a look at it. And uh, you can try pressing that key as well to see if that enables or disables your touchpad. So for example, if I use that key right now, you will see our touchpad enable disable icon pop up. And this is me disabling or enabling my touchpad using that key. So uh, try pressing a key if there is, otherwise make sure that the touchpad is enabled in software. Next up, touchpad issues can also come up because of driver problems. So to fix that, we'll right click the start menu and head over to device manager. We'll give it a second to load. All right, now in here, you will find mice and other pointing devices. Just double click to expand it. And now uh, you will see a bunch of mice here. Uh, you're going to have to do some trial and error to figure out which uh, HID compliant mouse is actually your touchpad and not the physical mouse that you use so um, regardless once you find that out you can right click it and click on update driver then click search automatically for drivers this automatically search uh, windows will automatically search for the right driver and reinstall it alternatively what you can do is completely uninstall the device and then restart your pc for the default drivers to reinstall and that should fix the problem Another thing that you can try out, depending on whether or not your version of Windows 11 supports it, is the hardware troubleshooter. Now, the default troubleshooters in Windows, if I just open up Windows settings and show you, is uh, if I go here and click on other troubleshooters, you will notice that there is no hardware troubleshooter in here. There's program compatibility, video playback, media player, but no set troubleshooter for hardware problems. Now you can avoid uh, or fix this by using this command, mstt.exe dash id device diagnostics. This launches a hardware troubleshooter, which may or may not be compatible with your version of Windows 11. So it's not compatible with mine. And if I try to run this command, I get the Windows Online troubleshooter service is disabled and that troubleshooters have been moved and this tool will be retired so if your version of windows supports it try running this troubleshooter otherwise we'll move on to the next step all right next up uh, we're going to check our registry to see if any settings in there can cause problems with our mice or touchpad so once again press windows key plus r and type in reg edit this will open the registry editor and now you can just copy paste the path that I will provide in the description below. Uh, just got to make sure it has that slash here. Press enter and uh, you will see a bunch of keywords here. Now, uh, the only one we're going to deal with is enable cursor suppression. Uh, you will see that its value is set to one currently. So I'm going to double click it and change this value data to zero. Click OK to save your changes and then restart your computer. The touchpad should start working without a problem. Last but not least, if you have exhausted all options, the best thing you can do is look for a Windows update because Windows updates often come with drivers that can fix broken hardware on your PC. To do that, just press Windows key plus I, 
to open settings, head over to Windows Update and it will automatically check and tell you if you have an update pending. As you can see, I do have a Windows Update that I need to install and as soon as I install it and restart, the issue should hopefully be gone. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below if you have any thoughts on this video or if there is any other content that we can make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.